Good morning. Do you believe in healing? Do you believe that God has the power to do miracles and healing? I've made a commitment in the past few years to study the life of Christ over and over again. All the signs, wonders, and miracles. Your faith is increased as you study the life of Christ and you are feeding your spirit with hope and faith, the mighty miracles Jesus does. One of the things that is often overlooked is this story found in Matthew chapter nine. A woman is suffering for an extended period of time. The Bible says there was a crowd and she wanted so much to be healed. She had a desperate spirit she plowed through the crowd and actually said out loud, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, the hem of the garment of Christ, I know I will be healed. She did, and she was healed. What makes this story so unusual, you may ask? Why is this story of the woman healed that had been suffering through the years different than any other story in the New Testament. Why is her story unique from all the other miracles, signs, wonders, healings of Christ? In the Gospel of John, the Bible says in chapter 1, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The ministry of Christ was that God would bring his glory here on earth in the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. That means that when he touched people, it was the manifestation of the glory of God through Christ Jesus. Jesus is our redeemer. He is our savior. He is our healer. Nearly every single miracle of healing is when Jesus reaches out and touches someone. He touches a coffin with a little boy that had died. He reaches over and touches the hand of a little girl that had died and she's brought back to life. Number one, Jesus heals through his touch. Number two, a second way we discover healings in the Gospels is when Jesus speaks the word. There is power in the word. There is power in the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, remember, whoever Jesus touches, blind, deaf, struggling, whatever their problem physically, they are always healed. Read it for yourself through the Gospels. Number two, when Jesus speaks the word, people are instantly healed. Just like that. Rise and be healed. Stand right now and you'll be healed. Just like that. I don't even need to go to your home. I'll speak it, Jesus said, and they were healed. But number three, this story of the woman with this issue that had been going on for so many years in her life is unusual because Jesus doesn't speak the word. Jesus doesn't touch her. She touches him. Do you understand what that means? Some of us are waiting to be touched. Some of us are in the waiting room in our lives. And Jesus teaches us that we are to come to him. We are to seek him. Well, he said it in Matthew chapter 6. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto him. In Matthew chapter 9, 
this is the rare story in the gospel of somebody seeking out Christ and someone touching the hem of his garment and they're instantly healed, just like that. The Bible says we have not because we ask not. The Bible shows us that sometimes there is a season of waiting and there is a season of seeking. Because she plowed through the crowd, because she touched the hem of his garment, she was healed. Father God, I thank you for this beautiful autumn morning. Lord, your hand is upon us and you love us. You sent the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, with your grace and your mercy. He sacrificed everything that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Help us, Lord, reach up today and touch the hem of your garment. Fill our heart with your peace and your blessing. Fill our lives with your healing power. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, I'll be praying for you this morning as I continue my morning prayer walk. God loves you, and so do I.